So I have with me the last year's winner of Walmart's Sparkathon. It's a competition through which you can not only get prize money, it's a kind of a competition through which you can get a pre-placement opportunity with Walmart and all of you are eligible whether you're a, a third year student or you're a final year student from any college across India. I have with me today Nalin who was the winner of Sparkathon 2024 and we'll discuss with him how can you participate, what this program actually is, how he prepared and how he got that opportunity. Let's start this in conversation with a brief intro of Nalin. So hi guys, I am Nalin and I am based out of Chandigarh and I will be joining Walmart as a software development engineer too this year in August. Uh, Nalin, let's let's come on to the point, make it simple for audience ki what is Sparkathon? Uh, so Sparkathon is a national level hackathon which is conducted by a dedicated team of Walmart. Uh, so this event includes you to think of a problem statement based out of four themes that are given by the uh, Walmart team. And in this problem statement, we have to present a proper working solution in the first round. And then in the second round, we have to go through a grand jury round after which the finalists are uh, sent to the convergement of Walmart in which they are awarded the prizes. So let's break it down eligibility. Who exactly is eligible? You might have seen both sari teams have participate, but what is the exact eligibility criteria? So the third and fourth year BTEC students pursuing their degree in circuital branches and MTEC uh, final year students are eligible to participate in this event. Apart from that, I think one more mathematics branch is also eligible in this event. But like, what's the benefit? Like, if somebody participates in uh, Sparkathon, he uh, submits an idea, so what are the benefits that somebody can get when he or she participates? There are a lot of benefits if you make it to the final round. I mean, uh, if you make it to the top three, you will be directly sent to the Converge event of Walmart where you will get immense opportunities of networking with the directors of Walmart, the CEOs of other startups who are there for networking. Mm -hmm. And you will, uh, I mean, have great opportunities there. Apart from that, you will also be given interview opportunity to work with Walmart. And uh, there are heavy cash prizes too for the winning teams. Okay, so do they disclose the cash prizes on the website? For I one. think they are, uh, you know, based on the students who are participating. So if there are lesser number of students, you, you know, they structure it that way. But a total of three lakh of cash prizes there for the top three winning team. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's like three lakhs of cash prizes for the winning ideas. You get an opportunity to interview at Walmart for software engineering roles. Plus you get to attend Walmart's flagship event in Bangalore where your entire thing is sponsored, right? It's, it's sponsored by Walmart. So you get free flight tickets, free stays, and uh, you get to attend that event and meet a lot of folks. I think that's that's something that everyone would want to do. Uh, let's let's break down the process, right? Uh, people would have seen that on the website, ki, this is open. What should be the next step? What should be they doing if they are looking forward to participate this year? Yeah, so according to me, you know, first and the foremost step is building the right team and getting the right people on your side who okay. can complement your strengths, basically. So you need people from different domains, like one can be a front-end engineer, other can be good at back-end, the okay. third one should be good at ML. And let's say you also need a DevOps guy maybe for hosting some things. Mm -hmm. And if you get, you know, these people from various domains, then you can, you know, tell them to search for an idea individually. Mm. So all of them can work on an idea, create a POC by themselves, and then you can, you know, get together in a meet and choose, pick one idea from that, which is, which is, you know, decided by consensus. Mm. And what ideas and, uh, you would have seen uh, your ideas also, some other winning team ideas also. So what were the ideas majorly based upon and how should somebody think of yeah, this is a good idea or this is not a good idea? Yeah, so the idea should be completely Walmart specific. Hmm. You know, you have to solve their problem of uh, based on the four themes they have given. So the ideas which were there in last year's hackathon, one was making a voice, AI voice assistant for customer, enhancing customer experience. Okay. Another one was making a fashion try on with the help of some AI models. Mm -hmm. And our, our design was something like that. We were solving a, a 3D truck packing problem. 
in which uh, there are various boxes which have to be placed in a truck but you know in the most optimal way we have to place them and we have also to consider various other factors like we have to manage the weight consider the physics of the boxes if the truck is accelerating at a speed they should not fall down hmm. so i think basically Ecos- optimizing space for walmart when they are uh, in their supply chain this ecosystem right so that's that's the idea cool so once somebody gets upon an idea ki theek hai this is the idea that i want to work upon what are the next steps he should present a presentation that is to be submitted or how how what's the first round basically what should be the first round yeah uh, so the first round we have to just uh, you know submit a 2 minute video on their website which should include a clear demonstration of the problem statement mm-hmm. and the solution which we are building to solve that problem these are the only two things which have to be submitted within the time frame of 2 minutes okay uh, in the first round and the video should include your entire team or only the one uh, leader or how, how was the video structured for you yeah so be, it it can include you know all of them or even a single person can present them i would suggest to you know go with a single person who is best at it mm-hmm. so that you do not have any weakness in your video yeah. got it and like that 2 minute video is the only criteria for shortlisting for the first round right yeah, yeah it is the only criteria what what next once you are shortlisted from that idea phase yeah so they take around 15 days to inform you that you are into the grand jury round mm-hmm. and once you are into the round uh, you will be just given you know 5 days to create another video okay. or you can you know, present the same video itself and also you have to present it live for 3 minutes in the meeting okay. after which your video will be played and then there will be a q&a session with the directors of walmart okay so it's it, this happens virtually right this yeah this happens virtually and after this there's the final round and what happens in the final round like what extra you did for the final round no so this was only the final round and then uh, we are just said that you are among the top 3 winning teams okay. and then we are flown to bangalore where we are told that who is the you know first second and third awesome. first and we are just reported on at bang in bangalore event yeah got it got it and uh, when you came to bangalore right what kind of activities you did or like did you present the idea here also actually not uh, formally but we you know when we met the directors and all they were you know very curious to know that what we built and how we built it so there was a long discussion there too while we were networking with them and the walmart team is very friendly who are you know managing over our logistics and travel so mm-hmm. they if you ask them you know we want to meet more uh, for more employees of walmart they will you know uh, arrange the meetings mm-hmm. should like would you advise folks like you have been a participant you have been a winner right what should you yeah. what would you advise somebody who is looking forward to participate but at the same time he's under confident that i might not be able to win or i might not be able to make to the final so what should be your what what is your thought process on this like why did you participate in the first hand like were you sure that you'll be winning or how was the things how were things at your end i would say that you know last year we all agree that placement season was not that great mm. so off campus opportunities were the only hope that i had yeah. uh, so i was you know very uh, aggressively looking for the uh, these opportunities mm. and uh, you know we should i think it is a very very competitive uh, hackathon in which there should be you know at least one person in your team who is experienced according to me in development not so i mean if you need a very great problem statement to clear this and we when we you know came up with this problem i generally got some idea that this has potential to you know go through at least through the jury round yeah. but in the jury round it is very dynamic and uh, there is we cannot you know predict that who will be coming in the top 3 teams about the must participation is a must in this we will you know learn a lot of things it just feels like you know we are building a startup of our own creating hmm. a team first and then working dividing the components of the project among ourselves so it is a great experience yeah i think the first round is just a video that you need to submit right with your idea so if you shortlist it from there on maybe you can 
deep dive upon the problem statement but first round at least participation is important you never know uh, how lucky you get or uh, the the very high chances that your idea is a potential idea that no one has worked on or built uh, cool yes. any any final piece of advice for somebody who is looking at an option like this and when you were when you said that you got interviews for walmart right so the interview process was entirely the same that happens for a campus grad or like was it different for you the interview is pretty much same as that in the campus so how many rounds did you have matter. yeah how many rounds did you have for the interview in the interview we had three rounds the first round was a technical round the second round was a even a, you know in depth technical round and the third round was with the uh, engineering manager uh, which was based on the behavioral questions and all and were you asked your uh, pro- project in these interviews or it was normal ds rounds i mean it was you know they tried to deviate from dsa so they were looking to you know ask more about um, what i have written in my resume and everyone was you know curious about yeah, how did you you know spagathon so that was always a question in all the rounds from like you already the... had an advantage in those interviews right because you have built something that that is solving walmart's problems and they they have seen that solution real time so that makes a lot of sense for anyone and everyone who want to escape the 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 traditional path of interviews right you have an edge here because you built a project and that is solving the problem i think that's that's cool thank you thank you so much nalin it was great talking to you and i feel this video would inspire more folks this year uh, to participate in walmart spackathon and we will see more number of students getting benefited from any college across india thank you so much